Hello loves, I am Essence, aka Essie Mama. Um, if you clicked on this channel because you like what you see, I would really, really appreciate if you guys go ahead and take the time to subscribe or just if you like what you see, watch to the end of the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you love it, if you love, love, love this channel, please go ahead and subscribe to me. I really do would appreciate if you just go ahead and subscribe to this channel um there's a notification button right down below it's a little bell go ahead and click on it so you will not miss any of my updates i do tons of videos like this and by the way if you see my son walking around in the background this is grayson um he's just gonna be sitting here playing throughout the video so hope you guys enjoy and let's dive right into the video let's go get a sip of my drink If you click on this video, um, I'm pretty sure you pretty much want to know the 10 tips I have for you for brand new mommies. This isn't more of a tricks video. This is just more of advice that I can give to brand new mommies. Stuff that I wish I would have known before. And if you see me looking down during this video, I'm just looking at my notes. You know, I'm just trying to write down and just remember all the things um, that... I wish I would have known so I just tried to keep it organized so I could let you know everything that I wish I would have known once again I'm sorry I keep repeating myself but <laughs> um yes even still after you I'm still getting used to YouTube so bear with okay so tip number one is you do not necessarily I know there's a connotation that says you necessarily have to keep it extremely quiet or you have to keep some you okay baby or you necessarily have to keep it extremely quiet when the baby is sleeping. No, you don't. It actually comforts the baby to hear loved ones' voices. It actually comforts them while they're asleep, especially when they're younger. I would say six to seven months and below. They, it really does comfort them. Even now, it comforts Grayson to hear my voice while he's sleeping. Tip number two is you can soothe your baby when he's extremely fussy and cry. There's this big thing out there that, you know, just let them to cry it out. Now, I'm not judging anybody who tries any methods that they have, but it's okay to soothe your baby when they're crying. You're not going to spoil them. You're not going to treat them any different from any other kids. If you have any other kids, it's, so it's okay to soothe them. I'm sure if you have kids, you do know that it's okay to soothe them and they're not going to be spoiled. You have an act at two months is not how they're going to act at three now for your sake and for your baby's sake, uh, so I'm sorry, this is tip number three. Um, for your sake and your baby's sake, I just suggest um, that you keep visitation hours because there's going to be plenty of babies that are going to want, I said plenty of babies, there's going to be plenty of loved ones that are going to want to come see you and baby together. But my tip is to just keep the visitation in between a certain time so that you and baby won't be frustrated, you won't feel overwhelmed, or you won't feel worn out at something. Yeah. Okay. Tip number four. Um, when you're preparing for your baby, just make sure that you put little things around the house that, to, you know, help you out. Like, for instance, for an example, I used to always keep his bathtub in the bath with me, especially when I wanted to take a bath, but he also needed a bath as well. I kept it in there. I had a bath and he took his bath at the same time. It's just little hacks like that. You have to think about things that would help you when your baby is here as well as when your baby is Five is absolutely, absolutely a wonderful tip for me. Please do not measure your baby's success upon another baby's success. There are going to be plenty of people out there saying, well, my baby did this at this age. My baby did this when they were doing this. Please do not compare your baby to other babies. And I know a lot of people say that all babies are the same in some type of way, but really they're not. Every baby is different because every baby glow <laughs> every baby grows into a different individual and to say that is to say that everybody is the same and everybody Tip is number not. two is to I know I'm kind of going through this quick, but I just want to make this a quick video. But tip number two is to listen to all advice. It's okay to listen. You okay? Oh, you cracker, baby? Look. Just... Okay, baby. Yay. Tip number six is to pretty much trust your instinct when it comes to your baby. Now, a lot of people are going to 
want to have their input and that's wonderful you want to have people around you giving you advice you want to have someone who's been there before to give you advice but it's okay to listen to advice but always 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 trust your instinct you wouldn't have been giving that baby if you weren't able to take care of it just always trust your instinct when it comes to your child it will never get old someone will always have their input but make sure you trust them. seven is to really just find some more mommy friends that can relate to you you can vent to you can talk to you can even ask for advice from them it's just always good to find someone in the same stage of life that you're in because it really does help like I really do appreciate the mom friends that I have now because it gives you a chance to vent and relate and it's just an awesome feeling to share the experience of motherhood with you. Okay, tip number eight is to still make time for yourself. I'm sorry, that one was a little bit too obvious me looking down. I'm trying to make it smooth. But it's a serious thing. Always try to make some time for yourself. I know there may be times where you're exhausted or you just don't feel like it or you don't feel like it's worth it, but it is worth it in the end because it helps you to feel better. It helps with postpartum depression. It helps with so many things. There's a list of things. Um, but even if it's an hour before your baby wakes up, or even if it's an hour after your baby goes to sleep, or even if it's when your baby is taking a nap, take time to do something that just makes you feel good, whether it's drinking that cup of coffee that you've been wanting and just kicking your feet up, whether it's taking a bath and just relaxing and forgetting about everything, whether it's <laughs> even having a little glass of wine. Now, I'm not condoning just drinking till you pass out while baby's up, but I am saying take time for yourself. Just do something that put you back in the mood to feel and nine is something that I really did I don't know if other mom will of course other moms do it I'm just I've never heard any mom say it just find a couple of things that you and your baby do that remind your baby that you're mommy like for me, me and I sit him in front of me every single day and we have this song that we sing and he's actually starting to sing it back to me now and he knows whenever that song is on, who's ever saying that song, that's mommy, that's our special time and it helps you to form a bond. And you can do little stuff like you always play like patty cake with them or something or some, or like a certain way and it just helps for their baby to form a bond with you and it also helps you to form a special bond and number 10 is more of my opinion than anything i say breastfeed as much as possible of course i am pro breast i am pro breast feeding that's a tongue tire um because honestly there's no better nutrients than the nutrients that were made for your body and your baby um, breastfeed as long as possible man I know it's a difficult process and I might be a hypocrite because I bet I breastfed up until seven months exclusively well not exclusively exclusively but on and off meals I just breastfed Okay guys, I have to do this kind of quick because my storage is running low, but I still wanted to give you guys an outro. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and this makes you want to subscribe for more. I love you guys already, even if you do, if you don't. But go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you love it and thumbs it up. Give it a, please give it a thumbs up below you guys. I stressed you how important that is. Give it a thumbs up below. I love you guys and see you next time.